The Protonote app is designed to provide additional information about the presence of domains and important functional sites in proteins. Protonote does this by displaying known protein motifs in the context of gene models. To use the Protonote app, first go to the Plugins tab. Then click on the Launch App Manager button. Select Protonote in the Available Apps tab. Then click Install. This will download and install the Protonote app. Once Protonote is installed, return to Igby. Select the genes or isoform models of interest. Drag click to select multiples. Select a single gene or shift click to select multiple models. To start Protonote, click on Tools, Start Protonote. The Protonote window will appear with the selected gene models in the order in which they were selected. Just like in Igby, clicking on a location sets the focus for zooming, visible as the zoom stripe. Sliding the horizontal zoom bar will then zoom in on that location. In Protonote, just like Igby, double-clicking on a gene feature will zoom in on it. Black blocks represent untranslated regions, thin lines introns, and colored blocks exons. Exons are color-coded according to their frame of translation. This color coding by frame helps expose frame shifts. Here we can see there is a shift in the frame of translation between these two different isoforms. To expose the general pattern of splicing a locus, Protonode includes an exon summary graphic. This appears as a series of blocks of varying heights in the display's bottom row. The relative heights of the exon summary blocks indicate the number of exons overlapping the indicated position. By scanning the exon summary graphic, you can quickly identify difference regions. Here we can see that there are multiple differences in the summation of the overlapping exon regions between our two isoforms, with some differences in the exon summary coinciding with shifts in translation. To identify domains or functional sites, Protonote can integrate with InterproScan. InterproScan is a resource through the European Bioinformatics Institute that provides functional analysis of protein sequences by classifying them into families and predicting the presence of domains and important sites. To run InterproScan, click on the InterproScan tab and then click on Run InterproScan. Select from the various databases available to search from or click to select all. Information on the various databases is provided via tooltips. Before running, InterproScan requires a valid email address in the event that the search runs into an error. Click Run to begin searching the databases. Depending on the number of genes or gene models, as well as the number of databases, this can take from a few seconds to several minutes. Note the status of the jobs running in the InterproScan tab. Once requested jobs have completed, their status will change to finished. Any identified domains will appear as blocks below exons. Click on the domain to view any associated information provided by Interpro, including links to more information. Motifs between different isoforms can be compared by shift-clicking on both of them, which will then show their results side by side within the Properties tab. This way you can quickly compare differences in potential functionality by analyzing the differences in functional domains between genes and their different isoforms. These results can then be saved to a local file by going to Protonote Save Protonote XML File. That way you can view them anytime in the future without having to rerun Interpro Scam. This also allows you to share these files with colleagues. In addition, if you need publication quality images, you can also save these images through Protonote.